it's really the time to invest in tech. I think, you know, when you are an investor like ourselves, which takes a long-term horizon, we, we uh, you know, investments, uh, the investment cycle is the investment cycle. You're going to have ups, you're going to have downs. But we are a long-term investor. We are a sovereign fund that looks at a 10-year, 15, 20-year return. And from that perspective, it's about the quality of the asset itself. This is what we focus on. Uh, we like to get at the right valuation. Ideally, you know, you always want to invest uh, in the right time of the cycle. But we are an investment institution. We have to continuously invest, and we have to continuously find the right entry points at valuations that are uh, acceptable. Uh, you will always look at finding the, the cheapest valuation, but as you know, that's not always what you will find. Uh, the key is to find the right assets uh, and at a risk acceptable valuation that you take uh, an investment decision on. And so speaking of something specific, Uber, for example, uh, are you worried at all that your funds are going to be used just to recapitalize that company? No, I'm not, because I think the, uh, the way we operate and the way this fund is operating and the, uh, the management team involved, I think the, the objectives are clear. Uh, we've seen uh, and we've interacted uh, with the fund managers uh, since day one. There is a very clear discipline uh, within that, and every transaction goes through a lot of scrutiny. So I'm not concerned uh, from that aspect. Uh, I think at the end of the day, wh wherever the transaction ends up, if it ends up happening, uh, I'm sure it will, will, will happen on the right basis. Do you think that the management structure that is in place now at Uber is the right one to deal with those growth issues? Well, I think I'm not in a position to, co to comment specifically on the, the Uber management because I've not interacted with them nor am I involved in that particular transaction. But I can say, for instance, our, our investment in that space through our investment in Didi has been extremely exciting. Uh, I am uh, I'm a big fan uh, of Didi. I think it's a great company. Uh, Gene, the CEO, has, has done a phenomenal job. And that space is a space uh, that we think has uh, a lot of growth uh, in the future. So it's a space that we've obviously allocated some capital in, we've invested a lot in, and, uh, and I think we're very bullish about uh, in the future. So it's a space, I'll comment through the space that we've invested in, which is through Didi, uh, is exciting. Is there an opportunity for something like blockchain to really change the face of banking as we know it? I mean, is, are we going to see a situation where um, your shares in, in Unicredit could be impacted by the fact that blockchain is disrupting the banking industry? It could be. I, I would say I still have not formulated a, a clear view on this. I'm still, we're still getting educated on this. I would be, I mean, the area that I would have concern on still is the regulatory side. How is this going to be regulated? Uh, because I think blockchain, its, its growth from being, let's say, uh, double digits, uh, early, sorry, single digits, early double digits to, let's say, astronomical growth will really depend on how how, how fast you can execute and where, can you, where, where you're going to be able to execute under a, a regulatory environment that is acceptable. I think if they're able to crack that, I think it's going to be an, an incredible story. But to date, I, I would say I'm still uh, uh, on the fence. What about Bitcoin? Because Jamie Dimon's calling it Same a fraud. Thing. Do you agree? No, I, don't, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't agree in calling it a fraud. I would say, again, uh, time will tell. Uh, it could, could as well be and it could as well not be. Uh, I think one has to be uh, open-minded. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.